Welcome back everyone to the MCM Outdoor Show. This time it's going to be a short video looking at the Fjall Raven Steuben pack. Um, it's a brilliant little pack. Recently got this and um, why I purchased it. I wanted to go a little bit back to basics. Um, I've got quite a few rucksacks as uh, well she can uh, attest to. Um, you can never have enough. I love buying outdoor gear. I think I've got some kind of outdoor gear addiction. But uh, there you go, if we didn't buy it, the companies would cease to exist and we wouldn't be able to get our, our nice kit. So there you go. So this pack, um, there's not many reviews online. There's only two that I can see um, and they're all from the US and one of those is uh, a guy in Canada. So hopefully you can have a little look at this from a, a UK perspective. It's not going to be a review as such today um, because I haven't actually used the pack in the field yet. So it's going to be a first look, I'll show you some of the features, show you around the pack and then I'm going to take it out for a bit of a walk, um, I've got the day free for the next couple of hours and um, yeah I'm just going to go over to my uh, my local sort of green belt land area where you've seen plenty of drone videos and uh, we're going to see what the pack feels like, get some stuff in it, maybe have lunch out and uh, see how it performs but first of all i just uh, talk you through some of the features of the pack. So here it is, it's the Steuben pack. Uh, they only do it in one colour and it's, uh, I'm sure you'll all agree, a really good looking pack. Now first thing I need to point out is it's got a steel frame and it actually, it serves as a seat. There's a, there's a foam pad under here so you know there's no more wet bums when you're using this. Um, so it's really good in that respect, it's actually a seat. Um, the pack, I've purchased these side pockets which, uh, which attach on with these little toggles that you can see there. Uh, it doesn't come with that and they're about £30 more but it's, it's definitely uh, a worthwhile expenditure. There's a toggle here, a toggle down at the bottom and likewise on the rear there's, a, there's two more toggles. So yeah, they attach firmly to the side of the pack. It's in this really nice heavy duty fabric, which is called G1000. Um, it's waterproof in that it's treated with uh, like a wax finish. Um, Fjall Raven actually recommend treating the pack with uh, like an otter wax, but you shouldn't need to do that too often. I mean, in fairness, if you wanted to, you could probably just use a candle, rub that on, and then use a hairdryer or something. But it's really, really, really well made. Um, anyone that knows the brand Fjall Raven, PK's got a couple of pairs of pants or keks as we say up, up here, uh, made by Fjall Raven and the quality is absolutely exceptional. They're not mass produced, they're all handmade, hand stitched and it's really, really good quality. If you look after this, um, it's going to be a bag for life. So anyway, so looking at the pack, we have, uh, there's... I mean, look at the attention to detail. I'm not sure whether it's going to focus on this, and it's probably not, um, but it's all just exquisitely made. There's not a flaw in the stitching. Uh, all the toggles are like sort of brass buckle with these leather, leather straps. Um, you don't have to actually open it from the top, and I'll show you that shortly. I'm trying to do this one-handed, apologies. Uh, but here you can see there's a foam pad here, uh, there's a toggle. You wouldn't be touching this in practice. Um, but this actually lifts up and it's just Velcro strapped. There's the interior and you might say, oh my god, it's so so like bright orange. But that's actually designed on purpose so you can see your stuff in the in the dark um, or you know low light conditions, you know, it contrasts against the interior of the pack. So yeah, it's got the steel frame in here. Uh, it's 35 litre, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm gonna leave all the proper specs at the end of the video. Um, I'm just gonna put this down just to fasten it because I can't do a buckle with one hand. Get back in shot there. Hopefully you like what you're seeing so far. Um, it makes a change from all these bright garish packs uh, which are available. And countless outdoor retailers. It's pretty much if you like your bushcraft and getting back to basics, uh, it's ideal. But yeah, to fasten it, 
can actually hook your fingers just behind there. You can do that one handed. Uh, there you go. So, the R Raven logo. Uh, we've got this small pocket in the lid here. Um, put what you want in there. Bigger pocket on the front. Again, brilliant, brilliant attention to detail. It's really, really well made. Uh, this is the Swedish flag. Um, the Steuben pack motif there. Like I say, these side, um, side pouches. Same sort of method of opening and closing that. You've got drawstrings on the top. Uh, and they just make the pack so much more versatile than it already is. Um, obviously it's exactly the same on the other side. Now you'll notice these handles here, that's basically for when you're sitting on it. I'm going to move the camera shortly and just demonstrate that. But yes, it's absolutely brilliant. You've got a, obviously just a, if you want to hang your pack up, most rucks have one of these. If you're just picking it up from the floor, just putting it into your car, into your boot. Now, um, at the back of the pack, you slide this open and you might think, well, you know, if I'm out in the woods and wet, I've got mud all over my backside, a load of moss and water. Well, it's actually a seat cover, a plastic cover for the seat with these press studs on either side. You just literally pull that over the lid. Again, I'm trying to do it one handed. There's a buckle here um, and clips onto that and so there you go the plastic cover goes on the top of the pack so if you've got a wet wet bum you sit on that and uh, it's not going to soak your pack and if it's been raining and your pack soaking wet conversely it's not going to give you a wet bum really nice it's obviously like the rings of a tree um, sort of fitting in with Fjall Raven's ethos and obviously the logo there and the press studs just buckle and push on to either side of the lid. So what's the padding like? Well, it's not like your Osprey packs. Uh, it's a day pack um, and it's probably not actually designed for multi-day hikes, although obviously you can use it for whatever you want. Uh, here are the packs, uh, the straps. They're really comfortable. Um, like I say, I haven't used this in the field yet. Um, and there's the padding on the back. Now, on a lot of modern rucksacks, you get some kind of mesh here, which holds the back, the pack, if I can speak properly today. You get some mesh normally, which hold the pack off your back, which obviously lets some kind of air flow and reduces sweating on your back. Um, I mean, it's not necessary. You don't, in ruck, rucksacks from years gone by, Mike Quinlan will attest to this, live simply. We didn't have all these fads, and if a rock sack is pressing against your back, so what? Oh no, my back's a bit sweaty. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to the hospital. Absolutely ridiculous. It's a rock sack. You carry things with it, and it goes on your back. Your back might get a little bit sweaty. Is it the end of the world? No. So, now we've addressed that minor point. Like I say, it is actually very well padded. Um, I've just had it on my, my back in the house and it's comfortable and it'll be comfortable for the loads it's designed to carry. Looking down you've got a chest harness, the Fjall Raven logo, um, you can obviously slide that up and down so it fits your particular body. You've got a fastening buckle with an emergency whistle here um, and obviously um, buckles to adjust the uh, the shoulder straps. Now, there's no hip belt on this, which again is fine. It's not a deal breaker, um, but uh, Fjall Raven have included two uh, fabric loops, really heavy duty. They're sort of made out of the stuff that your car seat belt is made out of. Um, and if you wish, you can fashion or attach your own hip belt of sorts onto that. Now, the base of the pack. Uh, it's pretty heavy duty. Uh, I presume it's a more heavy duty version of the G1000 fabric, which is used within the pack. Um, yeah, that's going to protect the most vulnerable area of the pack, obviously where you're putting it down. So, 
Why does everyone who does a review of a rucksack or, or, or anything do this? I don't know. <laughs> it's just what happens. So, anyway, the seat. Right, I'm not sure if I'm in shot particularly well, but yeah. Pack sits on the ground. You sit on the pack. I currently weigh 12 stone 7. Lost the weight, lost a lot of weight. I was nearly 15 stone in days gone by. But yeah, it's really comfortable. Um, these carrying sort of loops, which I've set at the side, let you just adjust the pack, move your position. It's really comfortable and it's a great design. You don't need to find somewhere dry to sit as you've got your pack, so it's all, it's all contained. It's brilliant. And another design feature is the fact that there's a front opening pocket, which I haven't told you about so far. You don't need to stand up to open the top to reach in your pack to get your gear out. You can do that from the seated position, which I'll demonstrate now. So, the last thing I'm going to demonstrate to you before I take this out for a bit of a walk is the fact that, right, okay, we found somewhere to stop for lunch or tea. Um, it's chucking it down, I've got my seat cover on. I don't want to have to keep, keep standing up getting the contents wet. Right, here we go, top of the pack. Just undo this buckle from the seated position. They've made the zips like this. I mean, there are there's a zip going down there, and there's a zip uh, horizontally across the top of the pack, it's like a J zipper. You can either manually zip it down, or with one hand, just pull that open. It's a bright orange, so again, you're losing the light. You don't want to be fumbling round if you haven't got your head torch. If you have got your head torch, you probably have it in this accessible front pocket here, so everything's to hand. You can just reach down into your pack, get whatever you need, and again, one hand, still from the seated position, get your lunch out, get your stove out, get your food out, uh, and close it all back up, all with one hand. Um, I think this is a brilliantly, brilliantly designed pack. It looks ace. Uh, it's got that sort of vintagey, rustic feel to it, which I like. You know, it's not one of these modern, I don't mind the modern design packs, they've all got the uses, but it's really good. It's a quality bit of kit. Fjall Raven gear is expensive, um, but most things in life I've now found out, I'm age 35, you generally, although not always, uh, get what you pay for. So what I'm gonna do is, and I've hit the pack again, why do people reviewing items constantly do this? I don't know, I've got to stop it. It's like saying, um, but I've not said um as much as I used to on my earlier videos. Mike, I hope you've noticed that. So, I'm gonna have a bacon butty, because I can, and I'm gonna take the Mavic Pro out with me. It's a little bit windy, but not overly so. And I'm gonna go for a little walk, put the pack on, take a flask, um, get some fresh air before I have to pick up my little ones from school later on, um, which I'm very much looking forward to. And yeah, I'll just enjoy the fresh air and see what the pack feels like. Signs of autumn all around now. This is rough woods. Um, 
coats normally in this green coat very different colours today it's the 3rd of October 2017 and autumn is getting into full swing it's my favourite season good thing about this area is you can just get off the beaten track and uh, get away from other human beings um, I'm going to get out into some open farmland Everyone. That just about concludes the first look at the Fjallraven Steuben pack. If you've got any questions, please ask me and reply to every comment. As always, please consider subscribing to the channel, hit the button below. Any questions, just ask me and I'll answer every single one of them. 
check us out on Twitter at MCM Outdoor Show and head over to YouTube, check out our official page and join our group. Give us some suggestions, tell us what you want to see. I'll submit a more detailed review of the pack after I've used it and I'll put some specs um, below. It's a brilliant pack from Fjord Raven, very well made. It should last a lifetime if you look after it. See you on the next adventure, which is in just a couple of days. Walsh should be here as well as PK. Take it easy everyone, get in the great outdoors.